Good morning, I'm Brian O'Mara, a Michigan native and Gross Point resident. I worked as a consulting engineer and geologist since 1987, soon after graduating from Michigan Tech with a degree in geological engineering. My clients include Consumers Energy, DTE, Detroit Water and Sewage, Marathon Oil, Michigan DEQ, Mass Water Resource Authority, the Met Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewage District, the Army Corps of Engineers, and US EPA. I've worked on the design, construction, and operation and decommissioning of dozens of miles of tunnels over the last 35 years, including Milwaukee's $2 billion tunnel program where dangerous levels of methane were often encountered. A methane explosion there in 1988 killed three tunnel workers when the contractor failed to take measures to prevent the explosion. I'm experienced with methane assessment, mitigation, and explosion prevention. A methane explosion in a tunnel similar to the Enbridge Line 5 under Lake Huron killed 22 construction workers near Port Huron in 1971. Enbridge has detected methane in groundwater along the tunnel alignment, but they don't know the extent of the gas and have ignored or denied its existence. Enbridge failed to adopt the sealed annulus pipeline design, which could prevent a methane explosion and release of oil. And this was recommended in the 2017 Alternatives Analysis Report prepared by the state, which I believe was the basis for the tunnel agreement. Methane dissolved in groundwater will seep into the Line 5 tunnel and be a never-ending explosion risk. A small amount of methane poses a great risk to the tunnel, the pipeline, the workers, and the straits. Contrary to Enbridge testimony to the MSCA, there will be sources of methane and ignition in the tunnel, and you only need 5% of methane in air for an explosion. The Enbridge tunnel pre-designed studies and cost estimates are inadequate and flawed. Enbridge has not completed a failure modes and effects analysis for the project, which is inexcusable. If Enbridge doesn't adopt the sealed annulus design, an explosion, fire, or catastrophic leak could kill tunnel workers and collapse the tunnel releasing thousands of gallons of oil into the straits. I'd like to help the MSCA better understand the methane risk and other geologic hazards of the proposed Line 5 tunnel and prevent the loss of life and devastating environmental release to the straits. I've included my contact information with my comments and look forward to hearing from you.